Hello, YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm tired. Hi there, Natalie Inkwell here, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Today's the first day I'm playing it without a gamepad. I'm not touching my gamepad right now. It is, uh, just got a sticking right trigger, and I really don't want to deal with it. So, I'm going to try to play this with the keyboard, even though it recommends that I don't play with the keyboard. Alright, so, today's plan is to, well, first of all, I kind of want to see if I could look into that, um, oh, what's it called? The place on Brittle Hollow, the signal locator. Yeah, I, like I said, I literally just woke up. I usually record like that, I guess, but I'm going to suit up before we go, before I actually fly off there, just because I want to make sure that I can. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that I don't actually know. So, I'm going to want to check out, see if I can find the... <coughs> These controls are interesting to say the least. Okay. Woo! Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, this is going to take some getting used to. <laughs> Oh shit. Uh. Nope, I still managed to break shit. I still managed to break shit, of course. Now I can see why they recommend you. Ooh, okay. Alright. That was not what. Whoa. Whoo, that was close. Oh yeah, this is that place, isn't it? This is the tower entrance. Yeah. This is that tower of quantum knowledge. I don't know if I want to necessarily go there. Last time I went there, I kind of accidentally flew and in, flew into outer space. <laughs> I'm sure there's stuff to visit there, but I really don't... Well, actually, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. No harm trying. There's no real consequence to death here. You just... You just reset the loop. 
Okay. Yeah. Now I see why the game recommends using a gamepad. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, because last time I came down here, I kind of jumped right into the black hole, which was not ideal. Entrance to the quantum tower of quantum knowledge. What's this say? The Southern Observatory. Okay, so this must be. Yeah, so this is where I needed to go last time, and I didn't for some reason. I did, went about this all wrong. The crossroads. Interesting. Okay. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and attend the last knowledge you'll need for your journey. Oh! Oh! Okay. That was kind of fascinating. So, this was once climbable, it looks like, but it looks like a lot of it fell away. Which would make sense, considering this is Brittle Hollow and everything here is fucking brittle, but... Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get up there. Maybe with the jetpack? Okay. No, I'm just gonna run out of fuel. Okay. Um. There's got to be a way to get up there. Like, it's got to be. Don't see why they can't just. Yeah, there's definitely something important in there, but I have no clue how I'm supposed to actually get in there. Anyway, I should probably get back to my ship right now because I'm only at half oxygen and there's no trees down here, <laughs> so... Still, it's... Oh, well. There's trees up here, apparently. Didn't even realize it. There shouldn't be. This planet's probably the furthest thing from being compatible with fucking plant life. But whatever. Careful now, Natalie. Don't let this be a repeat of what happened in episode one. Although, there will be a compilation when I finish this. 
of times I just kind of flew into space. By accident, you know, because I already have it had it happen twice. That is such a bizarre landing spot. Um, and I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that my ship was landed in a spot that was, you know, in a good, that was actually easier to get to and not what the fuck I had before. So, is there a way to, how do I, oh. There is supposedly someone here on this planet with Outer Wild Ventures, so I want to see if I can find them. <coughs> Maybe using my ship would be the better way of doing it, you know? Because I can, I can also use a signal scope there, but I, I'll have better uh, control probably. I found something interesting regardless, so I kind of want to check this out. I... No clue where I am, but kind of want to check this out. That's that like quantum shit, right?
Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or pod 3? No, I am unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two pods. Distress signals, however, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude if we can thatch. The moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be long gone for long. I observed several promised sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build a platform? So this is apparently from an escape pod of some sort. So can I enter the escape pod? Okay. Escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2, now launching escape pod 1. S scanning external environment, scan complete, minor structural instabilities detected, pockets of breathable air detected, adequate solar energy. Verdict, hospitable. Escape pod 1, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Alert, C collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Fascinating. Okay. Emergency escape hatch. Well, okay. Uh oh. Well. Fun. Well, that was something else. <laughs> oh, boy. That was one way to die for sure. <laughs> I swear, a like a, a freaking death compilation in this game is almost warranted, as I have had some bullshit deaths. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? I should not have taken the escape hatch. That was a big mistake. Okay. Right back, yada yada yada. Okay, so that was a thing. What the fuck? Okay.
Okay, that must have been... Uh... What the other thing was talking about there. Gabro. Okay. I didn't realize that there was something there. I wonder if there's a way to get to that fucking moon. Or anyway. Sorry about that. Well, I was wanting to land here anyway, but wasn't prepared to you know, destroy part of my fucking ship. Maybe I should get my suit on just so I have my jetpack. I mean, I can breathe here. It's no, it's not the oxygen I'm worried about. It's in case I come down here and there's not what the. Wait a sec, this is a chunk of... Hello, hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures from my little scouts I was sending back, so I thought I'd come over to see for herself. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something here. Whatever it is, it put down its roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and it's that's a fact. Think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. I don't want to set any anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside here. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm not gonna blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as the seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm, too. Oh! Oh! Oh, frick! Um... Okay. See, what's crazy is... Feldspar's harmonica's coming from this thing. Error, duplicate signal. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I saw this thing a couple times and I wanted to see what it was. That was fucking cool. Uh, that was actually pretty kind of, that was kind of cool. A little creepy, <laughs> not gonna lie. 
Uh, but I liked it. Huge fan of that. I mean, I haven't. I have a horror game channel, so obviously I'm a little more desensitized to that stuff than some people. But that was still crazy. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Even if I'm just going to land right here for now, because I kind of want to read what all that was about. That was crazy. Seed from Dark Bramble crashed here and has already taken root. Tektite wants to use the scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. My signal picks up a harmonica music when I aim it at the seed. I launch my launch my little scout into the seed. Somehow the seed is bigger is much bigger on the inside. So that's a thing. There's more to explore the zero G cave because I didn't finish the zero G cave. I probably will eventually. Alright, so let's go looking for some more fun stuff. I don't really want to leave uh, this planet right now. At least not fully. Ouch. I think that, that that's just where the, uh, took some serious fucking hits on that. Fuck you too, game. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is just where the m mining site 2B is. Right uh, here. Right here, this is where I wanted to go. Now I'm really curious as to what that, uh... What's going on with that dark bramble seed. That was interesting. Fucking hell, ow. Grove shard. Which really likes to just kind of... Okay. Across old bark, it's always dark, and the ancient glade, the quiet shade. What's with the strange poetry?
Alright, well, I gotta go to my ship so I can heal. <laughs> there was a safer way into that grove and I didn't take it. Typical of me, finding the more dangerous and bullshit way of getting into somewhere. And almost dying. And then finding out, oh yeah, I could have just walked down here and I would have been fine. <laughs> I thought maybe Brittle Hollow was as big as Timberhearth, but it actually might be slightly smaller. Okay. Where am I in time? I I'm gonna just keep looking around this planet for now, I guess. I mean, maybe I'd found everything of interest, or maybe I haven't. Whoa. <laughs> Get me out of here. Oh, what's this? I mean... Why would I not check out every little thing I can? Even if it's just some outpost. Closed due to fire damage. The old radio tower, while an important landmark, is unfortunately closed thanks to the unsanctioned flight testing of an extremely powerful model rocket. While we hope to repair the radio tower in the future, all construction efforts are currently focus on the planned museum expansion at the observatory. Oh. Sincerest apologies except for Slate and Mika. <laughs> Hornfuls. Kinda cool, that that was a thing. I like how it, I could, I get a better view of Brittle Hollow now that I've visited there, but when I wasn't there, it wasn't anywhere near as vivid a look. I think that that's kinda cool. At least, that's what it looks like. I could very well just be stupid but <laughs> and have just not noticed the tiny details before but it definitely seems like there's more detail now that I've actually been there
Well, I found where Feldspar's harmonica was coming from, but it definitely wasn't Feldspar. Yikes. Ah! I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> I damaged a lot of shit. Oops. Oh, I, I legit don't have any thrust at all. <laughs> Ow! I landed the rig in a place where they obviously... Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize that you can't see the shit. Okay. Now it's now I see why it's called ghost matter. It makes sense, I guess. <laughs> I didn't crush that poor kid, did I? Oh no, he's right here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck! No! I got stuck in the trees! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Why am I having fun with this? You know what would make an amazing video, and I probably will do it. 
A video dedicated to dying in the most ludicrous ways. Because let's be honest, that would be amazing. I definitely know I would do that. Like, hey, let's let's just see how how many bullshit ways I can die. I mean, I already died in a couple bullshit ways. All right. I feel like the supernova should be coming here anytime soon. I kind of want to view it from space this time, though. This thing is so fucking foreboding. It's just like, I dare you. I dare you to fly into me. I mean, I kind of want to do it at least once. You know, at least once I want to fly into the sun. Like, not because autopilot brought me there. Deliberately fly into the sun. You know what? There's no better opportunity than now see if I can get there before it explodes. Probably not. Let's be honest. Oh, it won't let you autopilot right into the sun? Darn. Well, this is how I'm going to end the episode, guys. Hit like, subscribe. See you later.